Hello there, it's Simone. I'm so glad you are here today for another Currently Inked video. Before I start with the video, I would like to announce that I am hosting the Ink Swap Fall 2022. I have had this idea for a long time and I finally went through with it. Today is the last day to sign up. So if you're watching this on September 16th, 2022, and you are interested in participating, please check out the link in the description box below. If you are watching this anytime after and you would love to be part of this another time, I hope everything goes well with it. And I will be repeating this swap next year. All right, after enough, enough said about this, I am going to review the last pen rotation before I'm showing you what I have currently inked. These were the pens. Last um, month I filmed on the 10th of August and I have used my pens since the last time I filmed for a total of 20 days. Um, I am using them in my journal mainly but also in other notebooks like for example my YouTube notes. Here is um, how I prepped for this video um, with one of my fountain pens. I'm just gonna flip through. I, I write down what pen I'm using, what ink is in that pen, and then on this side, I write down what happens or what I experience when I'm using this pen. Um, I things happened in August that were quite um, eventful. So I went to the San Francisco pen show. I got new inks. I got new pens. I have a video that I can link as well that you can watch so you can see what I actually purchased. Um, that made this whole currently inked situation a bit much. Um, I wrote with some of the pens that I was phasing out after the pen show, I sat down and after pen show ink thoughts, which pens do I really want to include in my next rotation? So how many will I have to phase out? Um, things like that. Really, I enjoy them a lot. I love thinking about these things. Yes, you could just go and ink whatever you want to. I love to have some, some sort of rules um, that I play by. And I just enjoy the whole process that is involved. Um, totally not necessary at all. I have uh, decided that I am going to use a Hobonichi Weeks for this. I call this my ink daughter. It's really nice to reflect and look through this at the end of one of those ink rotations to see how I really liked one of those ink ink and pen combinations. So I showed you my charter and then I'm showing you my Tomoe River insert where I started. Uh, just like Chris Sainz does, if you haven't checked out her videos, I highly, rec highly recommend her. She is probably more nerdy than I am in a good way. And she does kind of a uh, report card for each pen and ink combination that she... Uh, analyzes every month and she goes more in depth with her ana analyses and um, comes back at some point during the month and rates those. And so I decided that uh, I want to do that too so that I can look back, oh, how did this work for me in the long run? So I inked up new in August the Kaweco Sport Natural Coconut with a double broad nib with Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. And I really enjoy this ink in this pen. So I gave it a plus plus. All of those ratings are totally subjective. They are not even consistent throughout. So I will have to read. It's just how I'm feeling about this pen in that specific moment. Um, then I had... Did I ink up? I'm just comparing. No, I carried on the Kaweco AL Sport 
golden espresso with an M nib with the diamine pink ice. It was nice. I really enjoyed writing with this more than I have in the past. Maybe my writing posture has changed. Something has changed about it that I do enjoy this a lot more now. Uh, it has a nice flow. This was a shimmer ink, no clogging at all involved, but the color itself, even though I liked it more than I originally anticipated, is not one that I gra naturally gravitate towards. And so I really had myself had to push myself to use the pen. Then I have already, so this one I am going to clean after. It is not clean yet, not like this, but this one I am going to clean. This one is phasing out. I'm, I, when I did my ink thoughts, I decided that all of the pens that I had carried on through, wow, my cat wants to go do something. He's telling me with the doorstop. Um, I had the uh, Twisby Mini Rose Gold 2nd Edition in a medium nib inked with Robert Oster Old Book, book Smell. Um, and that was a really nice combination. Again, I totally enjoyed writing with this more than I had anticipated. I thought it was had a very narrow section and I had experienced some hand fatigue with pens that were tiny around the neck and um but not this time around and so i i really enjoyed using this it felt good in the hand it it it's a really nice size when it is posted i'm not using it unposted and so yeah i inked i uninked this already um since i had it for two ink rotations then this Pilot Custom 74 with a medium nib was inked with Sailor Ink Studio 123. I just wrote a love story. I, I can show you what I wrote every time I wrote with this ink. It was, it's super funny. So here it says, skipped in weekly journal and on MD paper. Let's see what happens. The next time I wrote with it, I wrote... Writes well and great shading in new journal. The next time I used it, yes and yes, so amazing, especially on TRP. TRP is Tomoyo Rivers paper. The next time I used it, and I used it a lot, a lot during this month. Next time I used it, I said, love, enough said. And then I used it one more time and I said, I think I need a bottle of this. So yes, this is a love story. Also going to phase this out because it's, been here for two rotations. Then the next time I, the next one I had inked was the uh, uh, Twisby Eco T with an M nib, uh, the turquoise color, and I had it inked with Robert Oster Gray Seas. This ink was really nice in the swatch. Let me check if I can find it for you. Right here. It does not look like this when I use it in a pen. So I, I put an, a minus, hmm, not enough experience net. I was not drawn to this at all. I only used it one time when I journaled in the past month. And so, yeah, that often happens with these colors of inks. Maybe they're just not for me. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to give this another chance and write more with it to see how I feel about it after I'm after I've written with it more. Then the next one is the Twisby Eco Clear, also a medium nib. The Van was inked and is still inked with Van Diemen's Bioluminescence. This is a sheening ink. And as I have experienced since I have been doing this, it has a nice flow. I like it, but it has too much sheen for me. So I will continue using this again, but mm, not so not so thrilled with this one. This was a surprise. It is the Lamy Safari Yellow with a 1.1 stub nib. I have it inked with Robert Oster Blue Moon. 
I was surprised because the 1.1 stub nib has been giving me some grief. I wasn't sure, am I holding it correctly or not? What's wrong? But this time around, the flow and the nib, maybe this is just a wet ink, but I have heard in the past that Robert Oster inks tend to be more on the dry side. So I'm not sure. And also Lamy pens are usually more on the dry side. So I'm not sure what this magic is is but it works really well together and the shading of this ink is over the moon fantastic i love it i love writing with it it scratches sometimes because i'm like turning the nib a bit too far but overall love it this is the pelicano junior in with an anfänger nib beginner's nib it feels a bit broader or on the broad side of an M nib. It is inked with Lamy Tourmaline. And then this again is another perfect combo. There's so many inks here that I'm like secretly thinking about purchasing an ink bottle, even though I'm such an ink sample um, enthusiast. Uh, but yeah, these are all really, really nice. I don't really want to let them go and you will see what happened with my currently inked for September. And then this is the Franklin Christoph Me Model 45. I had originally had an, a B-nib inside uh, from an Opus 88, uh, and it was inked with Dominant Industries, Autumn Forest. I did not really like writing with the B-nib, and I also did not really like this ink. It is supposed to be a shimmer ink. There was no shimmer to be seen in my sample. That could be just user error. Maybe I didn't shake it up enough, or maybe the friend who gave me the sample didn't shake their bottle. So I did not have a lot of shimmer in it. And it just looked kind of muddy. And I, I'm not really drawn to muddy inks. So that's what I had. Um, let me show you the ink swatches. The pink eyes, the uh, old book smell, the ink studio one, two, three, the gray seas, the uh, blue moon, tourmaline, tourmaline, whereas the bioluminescence here. This is the colors. I purchased several inks, um, Two, well, that's not a lot, but two inks in at the pen show. I got this nib, which is the Sig Medium nib, looked at, and then I also purchased three pens. Two pens. Did I purchase three? Three pens. I s purchased a nib unit, and I got this nib fixed. So I was really wanting to use all of them now that I have them so that I can experience them, that I can uh, find out what, what I love about the pens, how I like to get to know these pens that I now purchased for a lot of money. I wanted to ink them up. So I decided everything has to go that has been in rotation for longer. This one I wasn't happy with anyway. Uh, and so these four had to go. And I wanted to give those another, like to keep writing with those because some of them I hadn't used yet. So I brought in more inks than you can think of. So I inked up a pen with Sailor Manu Akibi because I really just love this ink and it works with the pen. Then this is a new ink that I purchased. This is a new ink that I purchased. And then I had left the two pen ink, the two pens that I had purchased or nib unit and pen. So that was that. I don't have a swatch card for one ink that I added as well. And then I added this Altgold Grün into a pen that I wanted to try. So I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fountain pens inked. So I am going to show them to you and write with them. 
in a second. I just realized that I don't have enough space for all of the inks that I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know. Maybe I need to do it this way. That's a bummer. See, that's why you should never ink up more than nine pens. Let's try this. So I have, again, the Franklin Christoph Model 45 in my rotation. This time I have inked it up with Diamine Writer's Blood. So the reason why I have um, inked this pen again is because when I went to the San Francisco Pen Show, I had their nib meister, Audrey, look at it and she uh, worked on it for me and now it works amazingly. I think what she did that made it work so well is she changed out the feed and um now it flows well even even with the um dominant industry autumn forest ink that i had in there but then i also decided to put diamine writer's blood in there because i wanted to know if it was the inks that I happened to choose always dry inks and put it in here and that's the reason why it flowed so badly or if something was wrong with the feed. But since she exchanged the feed, can't really test that anymore. That's fine though because isn't that great? It writes so nice. I used it today to take notes for uh, my September currently inked video right here. And I really enjoy how this writes on all the papers that I'm using. The next pen is also a new pen. Well, this one isn't, the Franklin Christoph isn't necessarily new, but it definitely is uh, improved. The next one, I'm going to squeeze this together today because, so that I can get all of the inks on here and pens. This one is the Twisby Eco Glow in the Dark. With a broad nib, I have made it a mission to collect all nib sizes of the Twisbees because I really want to experience all of them and see how I like them, what I love about them, just to have a better understanding of what each nib size can do or not do. Um, and this one is inked with Robert Oster. Um, it's the collaboration between Endless Pens, Micah Fines and Robert Oster. Just gonna write Micah Fines. And the color is Coffee Date. This color, for some reason, has a greenish hue to it, in my opinion. Maybe you see something differently. Let me know in the comments below. I didn't expect that. Um, but the ink, the ink flows really well. The pen, pen writes well. I have journaled with it, I think, once since then. And since I inked it and I really enjoy it, I can't wait to write with it more. Then I'm keeping this one. I just needed another bright color in my ink rotation. And so I decided it's going to be the buttered popcorn. If you have watched my videos, you have heard me say that I am always uh, tempted to say buttered rum. Maybe we should just rename this ink. This is the Kaweco. Sport Natural Coconut. It's a frosted version. This is a double broad nib. And you can clearly see that in between manufacturers, uh, 
even in between the same nib from the same manufacturer, you have variances. So this broad feels more broad than the double broad in this uh, Kaweco. Um, and then the color is Ferris Wheel Press Buttered Popcorn. It's just such a nice yellow and with a hint of orange that makes it legible in broad nibs. So yeah, love it. And just the bright light in this um, ink rotation. This is the uh, Pilot Metropolitan Retro in red. I have said before that I would never purchase a Pilot Metropolitan because I don't like weighty pens and I don't like the shape. However, this has a nib that I was super interested in. It is the cursive medium. So basically a 1.1 stub nib, at uh, 1.0 stub nib, and I just want to get a feeling for these stub nibs. So my next uh, Twisby purchase will be another 1.1 stub as well, just so that I can get that stub nib feeling. I was greatly inspired by Karina Loves to Plan. Um, and I really enjoy having that, the comparison and just, you know, experiencing them all, finding the differences. The SIG medium basically plays into that uh, similar nib range as well. And so just testing them out, writing with them, getting to know them, I am, yeah, just is a lot of fun. So, and the price point for this, I purchased purchased this from JetPens is so that it doesn't break the bank and gives me the opportunity to play with uh, some specialty nibs, specialty in quotation marks. So let me write pilot. This is an M pilot metropolitan. Retro pop red, and the nib is a cursive medium. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, it is quite scratchy. I am not sure if I'm again not holding the nib correctly or what it is. I do experience that it is a lot harder to write with, it doesn't have a, a similar give than the SIG medium from Franklin Christoph or the Lamy uh, stub nib that I have inked at the moment as well. So this I inked up with Rohre and Klingner Alt Gold Grün. And I have you just picked this ink because first of all, I like it. And second of all, I have a bottle of it and I also have had it in many pens that I know about the ink performance so that that is not something that will deter from the nib experience, if that makes sense. This is the Pelicano Junior. Uh, it's a beginner fountain pen. I think they have since changed models. It is from before we moved here when my son started learning um, writing with a fountain pen in school. I dug it out of one of his drawers and cleaned it and it still wrote. And I really love this fountain pen, to be honest. It has a really nice juicy flow. Um, the nib width is just amazing. And the ink and pen combination works really well as, as well. A. Um, and then the ink that is in here is Lamy Tourmaline. That is one of those inks that I feel like maybe I should get a bottle of, but yeah, I'm holding off. I 
really love the color color scheme so far. Next one I have is Lamy Safari yellow. It has a 1.1 stub nib. The ink that is inside here is Robert Oster Blue Moon. I talked about this earlier. See? Or here? It's not as scratchy. And the flow is amazing on this. So I can't wait to, to work, to write with it more. In the past week, since I have received the, uh, the, the Pilot Metropolitan, I decided I was going to write with all of them. So this is uh, my writing with the Lamy Safari. This is it with the Metropolitan. And then I also used the Franklin Christoph. And interestingly enough, I feel like my my penmanship with the uh, Franklin Christoph looks most uneven and most even and most cohesive with the Lamy Safari. Then this is the Twisby Eco in a clear demonstrator. This is was my first Twisby that I purchased ever. Um, and it is inked with, let me just write this, I cannot think, write and talk at the same time. Twisby Eco, clear with an M nib and the color is Van Diemen's Bioluminescence. And you will see when I write with the next fountain pen, which is the Twisby Eco T in turquoise with another M nib, how different M nibs can look like. I know that there is also the ink that makes a difference, but in this case, I, I'm sure it's the nib that is just so much broader. So, Twisby, Eco, T, turquoise, with an M nib, and the color in this one is Robert Oster. gray seas. And the interesting thing is now that I write with it, I think mm, this is such a nice color. Maybe I should use this when I'm journaling tomorrow. <laughs> I will. Um, next one is one of the new pens that I purchased. It is the Pilot Elite 95S. No, it's not Pilot Elite. Pilot E95S. This has a 14K gold nib. I purchased it in a medium, medium size. I love the burgundy color. It looks very classy. I feel like I am not as classy as this pen, but nevertheless, I just really, when I tested it at the uh, pilot uh, stand at the San Francisco Pen Show, this is what stood out more than the Pilot Custom 823, which I did not buy. Surprise, because I had actually had it on my list. So this is the Pilot S. It is an M nib. Oh, I forgot, burgundy. And it has 14 karat nib. The color is Vinta Purple Sea Star Tab One. I wonder if Tab One means is the exact translation for, or Purple Sea Star is the exact translation for Tab One. I'm never sure with those inks from Vinta, Vinta so I just write it right like that. Um, it is a blue purple. It reminded me a lot of the Ink Studio 123, but not so much, especially when I saw the Ink Swatch. It, 
it wasn't it wasn't really the same but I feel like um, I have a more in-depth video on that swatch uh, on my channel right now so this is the swatch in this um, on Tomoe River paper and then I thought it was very close to Ink Studio 123, but it looks more like a more a less complex and more uh, saturated uh, Manu Neko Yanagi. So I wrote with this and I have mixed feelings about this pen so far. It feels, yeah, it feels too classy for me for now. So maybe it's, uh, the section that is not really visible, maybe it's too thin, maybe I just need to get more used to this pen, could be as well. And then this is the purchase that I did not anticipate at all. I have seen this pen on various videos. I didn't like the, the way it looked, but oh my goodness, does it feel amazing in my hands. This is the Franklin Christoph model 2. I think the name for this is Intrinsic. Um, it has such a great color of the barrel and the finial up here. Uh, the section has the same color as the finial. It is a number six nib and let me just grab my um, Twisby VAC 700R Iris. This is a number six nib as well. They're both Yovo nibs, but for some reason, this one looks so ginormous uh, on this pen. So I, I, I just needed to visually confirm that they're both the same size. So I put a just regular medium nib on this pen. Um, I do feel like I still need to research the various different nip grinds more before I can go out and get one. I learned that the hard way by with this SIG medium nib and I think when and if I get a, a custom nip grind then I will do that in person at a pen show which means then I will have to wait until next year and the San Francisco pen show. So I give myself one more year to just experiment. I that's why I got this this pen just to play around with the different nibs. It's a similar grind, the stub nib, and just to to feel it more, to see what I like, what I don't like, um, to then make a better informed decision next time I'm at a show. So this is, as I said. Wow, the Franklin Christoph. Model two with an M nib. It's a steel nib. It's not nothing fancy at all. And it is inked with Sailor Manio. Kibi. because come on how could I not put this ink into this pen I, I think yes the Vinta Purple Sea Star would have been a nice choice as well but oh my gosh I just love this ink so much so why not put it in this uh, pen I love that uh, the way it lays in my hand like this and look at how deep it posts it doesn't um make this pen back heavy it doesn't nothing and it's just still a regular size pen even if even when it is posted like that duh i'm just so in love <laughs> with this pen it's just you know form follows function in this this pen is the epitome of that saying and it, it works this is another uh, new addition, not the pen body. This is the vanishing point with the yellow um, exterior. 
I have replaced the nip unit. This now has the 18K medium nib instead of the steel nib that was also a medium nib because I just wasn't happy with the flow and the writing and this works so much better. So this is a pilot vanishing point. For all the non-American people, this is called capless outside of the States. Point, yellow, medium nib, 18K. And the ink that is in here is Lennon Toolbar. Oyster. I felt like I needed a different color just to feel see what it feels like and I I think I had Lennon Toolbar in this pen here. Look at how different this looks. Uh, so much thinner, not as juicy. I'm so glad I invested that money in this pen even though it makes this pen more expensive than I if I had just purchased it with the gold nib in the first place so make your in decisions after you have researched the topic that's my recommendation and then I have also uh, debated on getting a waterproof ink for my sketching and dedicating a specific pen to this. And I decided I was going to dedicate the Twisby Eco in the lilac color with the extra fine nib to this. Um, and I have to say, I was not in love with the extra fine nib of the Twisbys. But with this ink, it works really well. And now I'm questioning all of my uh, nip decisions that I have made in the past. <laughs> because it's just so nice. It dries really fast. Uh, and it doesn't smear. It works really well in the Hobonichi that I use for um, Kofi and just as a learning journal and YouTube planning. This is an, an extra fine nib. And now I'm like, maybe I should try a needle point. What does it feel like when I'm sketching? I can color over it. It's so nice. And it's so legible, even on the smaller grid. So I'm like, what is happening here? Platinum, carbon, black with and that's it that's it so I am actually using this every time I would usually use a pigment liner then I'm using this which is okay I I don't have a problem with that so what that means for my Twisby collection is that I am going to add two more Twisby Eco pens um, I'm going to add another extra fine nib so that I can have this as a dedicated platinum carbon black ink uh, pen. And then I'm going to add the 1.1 stub nib, but then my collection is full. So now I'm like, what pens are worthy of coming into my Twisby Eco collection? I'm pretty sure it's the one that is coming out on September 29th because that is one of my favorite colors. But that is all of the pens that I have currently inked. I really love the color palette. Um, yeah, I feel like next ink rotation is when I need to add in the um, Ancient Copper by Diamine because that is such a dedicated, <laughs> perfect fall color. But for now, this works really well. I can't wait to report back to you on how these are working for me. So far, I am in love. It's just a bit scary that I'm so, I have so many pens inked up. What did I say? Four, eight, 12. Ooh, I, I said in my last video that my sweet spot is nine. 
we will see how that works. I definitely have a really hard time um, figuring out what pen to use next. And if I am journaling, like if I'm using these pens 20 days in one of those rotations, then I know that I'm not using one every pen twice, if that makes sense. Well, this one I'm not journaling with because I just, maybe I should and try and see how it feels. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. I have so much fun filming these videos. Let me know what your favorite pen out of these is. Um, which ones do you have? Which inks do you have? How do you like the combinations of these? Have you noticed that I am not color co coordinating the inks with the pen anymore? I am at level two for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. If you're still here, you are the reason why I make these videos. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed or gave this video a like please comment. Everything helps make my videos get seen by other members of this community. Um, yeah, gives my channel more opportunity to be exposed. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Until then, goodbye!